Uh, so, for the people watching, I know this looks like a weird, cheap resolution, and it totally is. Um, this is going to be a series here on Reckless Eating where we are going to, because uh, I do Twitch streams, so if you do want to check out my Twitch channel, I am filming one right now, obviously, because of my headset and everything, and I have Half-Life 2 in the background. But if you want to uh, do that, you can check out my Twitch stream link down below in the description. Give me a uh, follow on there. But we have a thing where when everybody donates ten dollars uh every I, every ten dollar donation we do a is it expired episode essentially because i've got a full box of the stuff all right so this is a uh, sweet eggnog taffy <laughs> this this does not look good at all <laughs> um it expired it has a sell by date uh november 5th 2013 i grabbed this from the bottom this first one uh, came from a combination of a couple people, uh, The Sinful Gamer, Majestic Beard, and, uh, Paramare32, and they donated, uh, a lot of money to do the first two reviews, so we're doing the Sweets Eggnog Gourmet Taffy, thank you guys, oh god, he smelled terrible, I can't, I can't express to you how utterly eggnoggy they smell, and I, I mean, it's taffy, so it's probably okay, what a terrible idea for a Twitch stream, though. Just be like, every $10 I make, I'm gonna fucking eat gross candy. Alright. I don't think it tastes like bad at all. A little plasticky. It's actually got really good flavor compared to the smell. The smell was awful. That's pretty good. I would say no. That did not expire. I think that was actually pretty good. Are we ready for round two? Let's go! What the fuck? These are... Uh, America's original double bubble gumballs cotton candy. First off, I know what double bubble is. I think everybody at home does. But what the fuck double bubble is doing gumballs? The first that blows my mind. And then cotton candy? Like, what? there's so many variations on here that I did not know existed. Very, very strange. <laughs> uh, we had another follow as well. Thank you for the follow. I don't know if I said that too. Uh, Pogo the monkey and uh, Tone... Uh, the, the fucker advertised <laughs> sexual plays and never followed through. I said that Chuck would come over and do sexual plays, and Chuck just uh, hasn't had time. But I am going to have a day where I have Chuck on stream with me. Uh, I'm going to try to get all the guys to have at least one day where they come over and hang out. Okay, here we go. Let's find out. Is it expired? They're a really good size. I think I got this from the 99 cent store back in the day. And does it have an expiration date? It's gum, so probably not. Uh, last year. Mid-last year. Also, thank you for the follow, King Koopa. Oh man, I break a tooth. Oh, really good flavor though. Mmm, it's delicious. <laughs> it tastes like bubble, double bubble cotton candy. Mm-hmm. God damn, those are good. Not expired. No, oh. those first two, I like. I think I lucked out. Those are pretty fucking good. Uh, we got another tip as well from Roxy Lou for thirteen dollars. Oh wow, we're doing we're doing big business here, guys. So we got two more reviews, I guess. Let's go! <laughs> I don't mind. Is this gross enough? I'll let you guys vote for this, okay? Um, this is alcoholic chocolates. Five liqueur filled chocolates expired in 2015. We have bourbon. Uh, it's Jim Beam bourbon. We have, I think that's champagne and Rus Russian vodka. Is that good enough for the gross or should I grab something different? It's up to you guys. Not gross enough! <laughs> okay. I mean, I'll do this for my second one then. Fine. Let's... I will find something grosser then. Okay. This... This is gross enough, okay? So we'll do this next. We'll do the chocolates for the second uh, $10 donation. These are TV dinner gumballs. Buttered corn, roast beef, and apple cobbler. That is gross enough. Okay? It has to be. There's no way that that is not gross enough for this pick so that's what we're doing i didn't even know i freaking had this plus it'll be a great screenshot for the first episode here we go we're gonna try one of each um oh these look so bad <laughs> they, they they have not held up well how bad they are <laughs> oh, they're so gross <laughs> oh my god I'm not happy about this. G, a GC fan, which is uh, obviously one of our good Reckless Eating fans. Um, your fan package was just filmed and should be posted fairly soon. I'm going to start getting back on those. And we have another donation 
From historic, uh, dread? Wait, oh, oh, I gotta say this right. Historic dread. Uh, dread, uh, dread. Yeah, that's, that's probably it. Let me see what you actually put, though. You guys were putting little things here. Uh, GC fan said, this is not a donation for review. Open the damn package and say, oh, see, this worked out. It already is. It's already all done and reviewed. Uh, as, like I said, it'll probably be up within the week or so, because I'm going to actually go on a fan package spree and try to post as many of them as we have. Uh, eat my lettuce, Matt. Make reckless eating great again is what uh, Historic said. And then we had another donation from a uh, 30-year-old MRE, $2, uh, and he said, that's gross, TNT Fox. Oh, it's just TNT Fox again. Okay. Why do you change your name every fucking time? I hate you. Let's get into this. Hold on. All right. I think the buttered corn is obviously going to be yellow. Let's try it out. Oh, God damn. Oh, fucking shit. That's terrible. It tastes just like corn. I like corn, but not in co Okay. That's disgusting. Apple cobbler is obviously going to be green. Here we go. Hmm. That tastes like green apple. That's pretty good. I like that one. It just tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Like a little bit of gross, but... A little bit of cinnamon, too. Not bad. Uh, now, the roast beef. There's no way this is good. <laughs> oh, God, it's hard. Oh, God damn, that's terrible. It tastes like dog food. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and, uh, is it Lori? <laughs> Something tells me that's not Lori since she's actually working. Come get in bed with me with that cute Woody and one ball. A $5 donation. Well, thank you. Probably TNT Fox, I assume. <laughs> I don't know who else that would be. Uh, let's see. Roast beef. I, you know what? Okay, so was roast beef or buttered corn the worst? I think roast beef was the worst because it tasted like dog food. All right, we have another one to do. Okay, so this now we're doing the uh, VSC chocolates. And uh, we're going to try the middle one here. The Russian vodka chocolate. And uh, this went bad uh, uh, two years ago? Yeah, two years. Uh, and these last couple were made possible by TNT Fox, uh, Historic, uh, Historic Drone, uh, GC Fan, and Lori, apparently. <laughs> I buy so much stuff for the show. It's something that I don't do anymore. Like, I used to go to a place, and I would just purchase anything. I'd be like, oh, that's cool, that's interesting, that's new, and I would just buy it. I don't do that anymore, obviously. I, I, try, to, I try to be a little more... Um, a little more on money saving Matt, especially now. <laughs> oh man, it's sticking to the chocolate, so that's not good. I think it's spilled open at some point. I don't even know how I'm gonna get this open. Oh god! <laughs> Another donation! Hold on! <laughs> I gotta read it. Uh, thank you for the donation. I can't even say this name right. I am so bad at these names. Is it Enya Jareem? Like, in your dreams? Uh, $20. Thanks for the entertainment. Here's some support. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Wow, we've already up to $80 on our uh, thing here, so you guys might be getting the main event real quick. Alright, look at how bad this looks. That doesn't look right. I don't, like, and this is the vodka chocolate? This doesn't look right at all. Uh, Scoville's on the pepper, uh, oh, I have the people that are joining. Um, I said I would do this hot sauce, uh, if we went to the $100. I don't know how hot it is, actually, but Pepper Palace is usually pretty hot. Alright, well, fuck it, here we go. I'm really nervous about this. Oh, I didn't hold up at all. <laughs> there's no liquids on the inside. It all went into the chocolate. Normally, there's like a little bit of liquid. Okay, we got uh, Starburst Fruity Slushies. Holy shit, this, thing's, this bag is gigantic. Why did I buy this and never review it? All right, here we go. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh, my God. The Starburst. It does taste like plastic wrapper a little, but it's fucking good. No. That didn't expire. It's delicious. All right, three more. Here we go. Wild Olivia? Is that Olip? I don't even know. All natural peanut butter banana milk chocolate. 41% cacao. When did this go bad? I don't even remember buying this. There's no expiration date, but it was at the bottom, so it has to be bad. So it just looks like regular chocolate. Nothing super special about it. Let's get a smell. Oh, okay. That tastes like bananas. Oh, it's a little creamy on the inside. Ugh. I'm swallowing it, so it's not that bad. I would say it didn't expire, but it's 
There's something not right with it, though. I, I just think, in general, it's not very good. Oh, God. All right, two items. I'm going to make sure one of them is super gross, by the way, because you guys got me to 80 bucks. That's close to our thing, so... Let's do this one first, because I was eyeing it. Uh, Swirls Cotton Candy Tropical Flavors. Watermelon, Pineapple Conut, Coconut, and Banana. Uh, <laughs> and this has been in there for a long, long time. I'm surprised, though. Okay, so, Cotton Candy, because this went bad uh, October of 2016, so it's not super, super, super old compared to some of the other stuff in there, but it still has density. Doesn't Cotton Candy go bad once it's on the shelf for more than a month or two? That would be terrible. Look at this. Look at this! <laughs> this thing. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, there's something wrong with it. <laughs> oh God, I don't know what it is. It's a weird day. Back you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what? I don't think it expired, but the pineapple taste was really fucking weird. Just the flavors in general. I shouldn't. You shouldn't have flavors like that for cotton candy. All right, we got a winner. Uh, I think you guys will be satisfied with this. Fruitcake Mints. How did I not review all this stuff? Okay, I can get a little out. Okay, it's officially become like crack cocaine. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's, that's how I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Oh, God. Tasted like seedling. <laughs> 